What is PMI? Where did it come from? Do I need it? Well, in this video, we'll take a look. PMI stands for Private Mortgage Insurance. If you get a loan and pay less than 20% down, chances are you pay PMI. <laughs> but what is PMI? PMI is an insurance policy on your mortgage. However, unlike car insurance or health insurance, PMI doesn't protect you. PMI protects the lender in case the person who takes out the loan defaults on their payment. PMI can be traced back to the 1880s. However, the Great Depression drove the entire industry out of business by 1933. For two and a half decades, only FHA and VA insured mortgages. The modern version we see today started in 1957 in Wisconsin with the formation of the Mortgage Guarantee Insurance Corporation. It was a way to expand the number of people who could qualify for a mortgage and reduce the difficulty in getting those mortgages. So how does it work? Well, when a lender issues a loan, they take on a certain amount of risk that the homeowner will pay them back. To reduce their risk, they require a whole lot of paperwork to ensure that the person applying qualifies. I have a whole video on the paperwork, in case you were wondering. They also require a down payment, so that in the event that they have to foreclose, the value of the property will be higher than the loan they issued, plus the cost of running their business. For loans with smaller down payments, the lender might be wary that they might not recoup their expenses if the loan were to go into default. They might decide it's not worth the risk. They would require a larger down payment, or they might not issue the loan. This attitude would greatly reduce the number of people who are able to buy homes. PMI reduces that risk. For loans with smaller down payment, it ensures the lender will recoup costs if the loan goes into default. It doesn't cover the lender for the whole loan, just the first 20%. So if we look back at the questions we had at the beginning, what is PMI? It's an insurance policy on a mortgage where the down payment is less than 20%. Where did PMI come from? It arose to expand the number of people who could get a mortgage and to ease the mortgage process of getting approved. Do you need PMI? Well, if you're putting less than 20% down on a conventional loan, then yes, you need PMI. Here's some good news. If you have a conventional loan and you're paying PMI, you don't have to pay for it for the entire length of the loan. Once you cross the 80% threshold, you can apply to have the PMI removed from your loan. At 78%, it generally removes automatically. You can take a look at your mortgage schedule to see when you cross the threshold. But if you're in a market like ours where values are going up, you may be able to apply to have your PMI removed based on a new appraisal of your home. And even though you haven't put the 20% down, when you compare your loan to the new value, you might reach that 80% threshold much faster. If you think this applies to you, reach out to a mortgage professional. They can talk to you about your options. Send me an email if you have a question. I can refer you to several mortgage professionals that I work with. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel to get the latest tips and info on home buying and selling. Stay safe and thanks for watching.